So this is kind of going to be like a New York BTS wrap up haul thing. It's a, it's a thing. As you guys might be aware of if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I was in New York this month and basically I didn't get tickets to see BTS in London. Like I didn't even make it out of the freaking waiting room. So obviously I was gutted that I didn't get BTS tickets for London. But then they announced the city field date for New York. Everyone is really like, oh my god, you went to New York just to see BTS. Basically, first of all, I've always wanted to go to New York anyway. Second of all, yeah, I did want to see BTS. Third of all, the cost of the flights, hotel, and the ticket for BTS pretty much came to what it would have cost for the cheapest ticket that was on a resale site. So all of the New York thing altogether was cheaper, believe it or not. So yeah, we flew out on, shit, what day was it? So we flew out on the 5th of October. We had a two something from Heathrow Airport. Um, anyway, our flight got into JFK at like four or five o'clock or something. We survived on the Metro, didn't get lost. We made it to Times Square using the metro. We rushed from the station however many blocks to make it to where BT21 was. There was a little bit of a queue. It wasn't too bad. I Honestly, I don't know how long we were waiting there. It didn't feel like long. It was freaking insane in there. Freaking insane. Like there was a queue to get in and then you were queuing like down one side of the store. Most stuff had sold out. I feel like the New York store should have been more prepared because BTS were doing a concert that weekend and everything sold out. But yeah, I had a list of stuff to get, both stuff that I wanted and stuff that my mum wanted because she's a BTS fan too. So yeah, let's start with the BT21 haul. I got myself this little tartar headband. Obviously, it had to happen. I got this to wear at the concert the Tata headband and I got the Koya hair tie for the same reason because I was going to wear it on my wrist like a bracelet because why not? I also got myself the Chimmy plush doll keychain. I got myself the Tata socks. I was going to get every single character in these socks but like Tata was literally the only ones that they had. So his were the only ones that I could get. Honestly, I'm looking at this BT21 haul, like what took up so much space in that case, Christ. You guys may or may not be aware that they released the Halloween BT21 range not long before I went. It was crazy, it kept selling out, and when we were there, as we were heading to pay, they brought out boxes of the plushes, and so I grabbed myself Mang, little Franken Mang, and I grabbed myself RJ in his little hoodie cape thing. I think he's a vampire. 
Or maybe he's just a cult member, I'm not sure. I would say he's the Grim Reaper, but he doesn't have a scythe. So, now you may be thinking, wow, you only got two of the Halloween plush. That is an excellent show of self-restraint. I am proud of you. No. I have all seven of them. Mm. Mm. I was pretty convinced that when we got to New York, they weren't going to have any of the Halloween plush in stock. Plus, it was the whole issue of fitting them into my suitcase. So, a very nice girl on Twitter bought five of them for me. I wasn't going to buy RJ and Mang, but then they had them at the store and I felt bad that they were the only two that I didn't have. So I bought them. In case you don't know what they look like, Jimmy, obviously a mummy. Tartar. Tartar is definitely a vampire with his cape, so what is RJ? Shuki is a little bat with horns. Kuki is a little skeleton. This one's so cute. And Koya also has wings and horns. Anyway, um, yeah, and then the final item that I got from BT21 was the RJ sleep mask. I got the giant red bag with Van on one side and Tata on the other. I know for a fact I looked freaking crazy in the BT21 store because I bought all of that and then I cracked open my suitcase and promptly put it all inside because genius that I am, I took a suitcase that was basically empty and I just shoved all of that in because I'm too lazy to carry it around New York. I also got the Mang bag with RJ on the back. Once we were done in BT21 and we'd done the appropriate photos because you know we had to take a photo with the BT21 characters and then with the giant lion friends bear, we went to go to the other stores but Barnes and Noble was closed um, and Koyo Books would have been closed by the time we got there. We also didn't do the Empire State because one of the people we were with was tired and didn't want to do it. So that's pretty much all we did on Friday. Saturday, Angela, Ali and I decided to have a tourist day and we went to Staten Island. We took the ferry, we found a really cool pizzeria and we had real New York pizza and it was super cheap you guys. It was like a couple of dollars, like two dollars or something. I think it was two dollars or like a dollar something for one slice and it was like a pretty big slice. It was so good. But yeah, we got to see the Statue of Liberty in passing. We got some really nice views. And then afterwards, we decided to do these stores that we didn't get to do. We made it to Koyo Books. I have seen this store in a few YouTubers videos and I knew it was one of the few K-pop stores in New York. And oh my God, we were looking. There were like, some had 50% off, some had 30% off. We picked up all of these albums, you guys. Like, I'm rich. So I was sensible. I was sensible. I had a plan. I got I Am Not by Stray Kids. I really, really love Stray Kids. There are very, very few songs on their albums that I actually skip. This one has pretty much most of my favourites on. It has Mirror, it has Rock, it has District 9. In case you're wondering what photo cards I got. Dungeon. Baby Han! Mate, he's braver than I am because I would not... I would not have photos from when I was in school in an album. Hey! And the CD is there. I also picked up a BAP Unplugged. Buying albums was pretty new to me and so I only had the one BAP album when I left New York and I really wanted to pick up a couple. So I really wanted to get BAP's Noir album but they didn't have it and so I struck out on that front. So I was trying to decide which other album to get and I picked up this one because if you guys don't know they filmed the music video for one of the songs on here in London. Cover photo, London, the back photo, London, the CD, London. Oh, bad glare. But I got Yongook. They do have a little photo book in there. Dagon. The other two albums that I got on Monster X albums because I didn't have any up until this point and I couldn't resist buying some. So I picked up Monster X's The Clan Part 1 Lost. The CD and the photo book. Group photo card. And the other Monster X album I picked up 
was the code which has drama rama on it. Honestly, drama rama is such a bop. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But it has drama rama on it now or never in time. From zero, I freaking love from zero. You open it and you see all of that little faces and then there's a little booklet of Juhan. CD has Minyuk, Minyuk, Minyuk on it. I got I am and one home and then I got Juhan. Koyo Books right next to it is a Korean beauty shop. Like they share a space I think but they're two separate shops. They had the BTS VT cosmetics stuff. They had loads and loads and loads of Korean makeup and skincare stuff. They had got seven face masks. They had the BTS Medihill ones and they had the BT21 Medihill face masks. It's not like a proper sheet mask. It's a little like Tartars or whatever the respective character is. Yeah, I got Tartars, so it's gonna look like that. And Chimmy, which is gonna look like that. And Koya, which is gonna look like that. After Koyo Books was the BTS concert. We had such a freaking rush. We basically knew which subway we needed to get, but we couldn't find where to get it. And we ended up having to get a taxi and there was traffic. I was gonna redo my makeup. I was going to just not look like trash but we basically had 15 minutes to get ready at the time Ali and I got there after getting out of the taxi and like running they were on in like five minutes and we got in there just in time and then they were on like 15 minutes late or whatever so we had time to go and you know get a beer BTS they were so good <laughs> I loved the set list, obviously. It has a load of my favourites on it. We got the most epic medley ever, because I know they were switching the medleys out. They were alternating between two. We got the one that I was hoping we would get, which is the one with fire on, because that is my jam. <laughs> So good. Ali and I, <clears throat> we did not cry. We were just, you know, jet lagged, tired, and we'd had a beer. That's what we're going with. Okay, it did get a bit emotional. And then when we came out of the venue, a really nice girl gave me a photo card. It actually looks pretty legit. Like, I know it's not legit, but it does look legit. We got abandoned and got lost on the way back to the hotel. We had to ask a stranger for help. We eventually made it back. We were gonna do the Empire State because we were like, it will look really great at night. We got there and they said there was a private party on, so we couldn't. Um, turns out it was Eminem shooting his new music video, so I now officially hate him. So we couldn't do that and we kind of wandered Times Square a bit and got food. Sunday was our final day. We basically tried to fit in everything else that we couldn't. Went to do the Empire State Building. Um, basically, the visibility wasn't that great and loads of people were going up and coming straight down and I was like, do I wanna pay $37 to not be able to see anything? No. I feel like I should also point out that we had Panda Express. I actually really love Panda Express because I've had it before when I've been to the US and it was a must for me to do. I had Panda Express. I was happy. Um, we went back to Koyo Books. My justification for the remaining albums I bought was that I didn't get to get everything that I wanted from BT21 and I didn't get to buy any BTS merch and I didn't get to buy any in London either. Ooh. So I was like, you know what, I didn't get to get any of that, so I'm gonna treat myself. And I did. So I also picked up BAP's latest album, Ego. Hands up. Woohoo. Photo book. 
I got Yongook again. It's not my bias, but he's cute, so I'll let him off. And then for the other two albums I bought, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm just going to say it. I ended up getting two more Monster X albums. Two more. Rush. Wee. Photo book. Why am I showing you guys the photo book? You've already seen it. And I got one ho again. And I got the clan part two. And again, I got one ho. But that is not all because seven albums were just not enough. Outside the BT21 store, there was a stand. I wasn't planning to buy BTS albums, but these were only $20 each and I couldn't resist. I did the thing. Oh, are you late too? Which has such bangers on it, like Attack on Bangtan. <laughs> I got Namjoon and I got Too Cool for School. Hey, they're just like little babies. Look at them. And you got the little postcard on it with these guys on whose name escapes me. I can't remember what they're called. Baby BT21 characters. The lady behind the stall was trying to get me to take a free poster, but you know, trying to get a poster on a plane was going to be really difficult without it getting damaged. Posters aren't really my thing anyway. So I couldn't take the poster and I explained I couldn't take the poster because I was going back to London. And so she handed me this Jimin keychain. But I thought that was really nice of her and I wasn't expecting her to give me one. And she gave me Jimin too, who is my bias wrecker. So she must be psychic. But yeah, so I bought a lot of K-pop stuff, CDs, merch stuff in New York. So as for BTS London, I had some insane luck. I managed to get two standing tickets for the 10th and I won one of the express passes for the studio. So on the Tuesday, I did crack and buy the light stick. That happened. I picked Tay and I got my photo. I look absolutely terrible in that photo because it's from my bad side and I literally look like the undead. We got back, finally got home, bought these tickets for the ninth, face value, went straight back up. So yeah, by some quirk of luck, I managed to not only see them in New York, which I thought was going to be the only time I got to see them, but I got to see them at both London shows. Nam June, he did a British accent. It was a bloody beautiful man, wasn't it? I knew he was going to do it before he'd even opened his mouth. It was so lovely. <laughs> You're so lovely. I'm so lovely. So, so yeah, I had a really great BTS filled week, only marred by the fact that I came down with what I thought was a cold but turned out to be flu. Yay! So that has been my New York slash BTS wrap up and haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link all of my social media down below so you can come and say hi to me on Twitter and I'll see you guys next video. Hey, 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 hey,